Okay, this is a short video that will demonstrate some of the features of my Oasis based uh, phone system. So, phone sitting right here, I can turn it on. Um, it'll take a few seconds to boot. And this is the interface. Um, the compositor, the it, it's a Wayland compositor built on SWC, um, and I have a little uh, app screen that opens that shows all the programs you can open. Right now, there's only a terminal, um, and then a dialer here. Actually, the dialer won't open yet because the modem's not on. So, to turn the modem on, you can go ahead and tap that. Uh, the modem actually takes a little bit to power on, much longer than the phone does. Uh, and of course, you, we have controls for audio uh, here as well, so I can like turn on the mic and earpiece using these two. There's a brightness slider uh, as well, and it doesn't look like it's showing up on the video. Maybe I can adjust it. Um, wrong way. Uh, maybe you can see the status bar up top as well. It shows the time and the battery level. Uh, okay, so now that the modem's on, I can demonstrate a phone call. So I'll go ahead and call the phone. And normally the phone number would uh, show up here. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it vibrates. And we can pick it up. And, well, the microphone and earpiece are on so you can't hear it. Now you should be able to hear it. Hello. I'm not sure if the uh, camera microphone is picking it up but I can hear it on this phone off to the side. Uh, so it seems to be working just fine right now. And of course we can hang up the call by hitting that button. Um, and of course now we can open the dialer. You can enter a number here, here I'll enter the number for the phone that I have off to the side so uh, you can't see it one second And I'll call it. You can see it's a little bit messed up because the strut is still at the bottom from the keyboard. But the call indeed does go through. Um, and then I can go ahead and hang up again. Um, yeah, so it seems to be reasonably reliable. Uh, of course, SMS doesn't work yet. Uh, I still have to work on that. And um, yeah, there, there's still a few bugs that need to be worked out with the call handling, but I'd say it's somewhat close to being usable, uh, which was my goal over the summer. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so I went and rewatched what I just recorded, and I realized there are a couple of important things I neglected to mention. Um, so the first thing is uh, how the side buttons work, or what what they do. So. 
we open the terminal, uh, you can see, hit the top side button, that'll close it. Uh, it will do the same thing for the dialer. Um, yeah, so the top side button just closes the app that you're, that you have open. Um, and then the bottom, uh, volume button will be used to open the, uh, overlay menu. And you can just toggle it by repeatedly pressing it. And most importantly, the power button can be used to put the phone to sleep. So this puts it into the Crust Deep Sleep Mode because I have the Crust firmware installed. Um, and that really helps save on battery. Um, I still have to figure out exactly how calls interact with sleep. That's actually probably one of the higher priority things I still need to work on. Um, but yeah, uh, I neglected to mention those things and I thought uh, those were important enough to record something extra.